Southern California recently experienced a 4.2 magnitude earthquake. This event, while not catastrophic, served as a stark reminder of the ever-present threat that looms over the region. It was a stark reminder of the region's vulnerability to seismic activity. The state sits on multiple fault lines, making it one of the most earthquake-prone areas in the world. Californians live with the knowledge that the ground beneath their feet is constantly shifting. This awareness shapes their daily lives from building codes to emergency preparedness plans. The question is not if a major earthquake will occur, but when. Experts agree that a significant seismic event is inevitable, and it's only a matter of time before the big one strikes. The recent tremor has reignited discussions about the factors that contribute to seismic risk. Scientists and policymakers are once again examining the various elements that could influence the timing and severity of future earthquakes. Could something unexpected like dried up lake beds play a role in triggering the next big one? This question has led to new lines of inquiry and research. It's a question that scientists are actively investigating. Researchers are delving into historical data and using advanced technology to understand the potential impact of these dried up lakes. The Earth's crust is a complex system. It consists of multiple layers, each interacting with the others in ways that are not yet fully understood. Seemingly small changes in one area can have ripple effects elsewhere. A minor shift in one part of the crust can lead to significant changes in another, potentially triggering an earthquake. The drying up of ancient lakes, once massive bodies of water, is one such change that might be influencing seismic activity. These lakes, which have existed for thousands of years, have left behind sediments that could affect the stability of the ground. To understand why, we need to delve into the fundamental forces that shape our planet. Plate tectonics, volcanic activity, and other geological processes all play a role in the dynamic nature of the Earth's crust. By studying these forces, scientists hope to gain a better understanding of what might trigger the next major earthquake. The Earth's surface is not a single solid shell. It's broken into massive pieces called tectonic plates. These plates are in constant motion, albeit very slow motion. They grind against each other, pull apart, or collide. These interactions are the driving force behind earthquakes, volcanoes, and mountain formation. Most earthquakes occur along fault lines. Faults are fractures in the Earth's crust where rocks have moved past each other. The San Andreas Fault in California is a prime example. When stress builds up along a fault, it can be released suddenly, causing the ground to shake. This release of energy is what we experience as an earthquake. The San Andreas Fault is one of the most famous and potentially dangerous fault lines in the world. It stretches for over 800 miles along the California coastline. The fault marks the boundary between the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate. These two massive plates are moving horizontally past each other. The San Andreas Fault is responsible for some of the most powerful earthquakes in California's history. The 1906 San Francisco earthquake, with an estimated magnitude of 7.9, is a stark reminder of the fault's destructive potential. Scientists predict that another major earthquake is overdue on the San Andreas Fault. The question is not if, but when, it will strike. Ghostly lakes can dried up beds awaken seismic giants. The idea that dried up lakes could influence seismic activity might seem strange at first. It's a concept that challenges our understanding of how interconnected natural systems can be. After all, how can a body of water that no longer exists have any impact? It seems counterintuitive, doesn't it? The answer lies in the immense weight of water and its absence. Water, when present in large quantities, exerts a tremendous amount of pressure on the Earth's crust. Large lakes exert significant pressure on the Earth's crust. This pressure is a constant force, pushing down on the land beneath the water. When they dry up, that pressure is removed. The sudden absence of this weight can lead to a dramatic shift in the balance of forces within the Earth's crust. This change in pressure can affect the delicate balance of forces along fault lines. Fault lines are already areas of significant geological stress. It's like removing a weight from a seesaw, the other side will suddenly rise. This analogy helps us understand how the removal of water weight can cause the Earth's crust to adjust. In the context of fault lines, this shift in pressure can make them more susceptible to slipping, potentially triggering earthquakes. The sudden release of built-up stress along these fault lines can result in seismic activity, reminding us of the powerful and often unexpected ways in which our planet's systems are interconnected. 
The Case of Lake Coahuila, a Prehistoric Warning Lake Coahuila, a prehistoric lake that once covered much of Southern California's Coachella and Imperial Valleys, provides a compelling example of this phenomenon. At its peak, Lake Coahuila was a massive inland sea. Geological evidence suggests that Lake Coahuila's repeated filling and drying cycles coincided with periods of increased seismic activity along the San Andreas Fault. While correlation doesn't equal causation, the timing of these events is striking. The weight of the lake water likely suppressed earthquakes when it was full. When the lake dried up, that pressure was released, potentially triggering earthquakes on the already stressed fault. The Salton Sea Balancing Act Between Ecology and Earthquakes Today, a smaller but still significant body of water occupies a portion of Lake Cahuilla's former bed, the Salton Sea. The Salton Sea is shrinking rapidly due to a combination of drought and water diversions. This has raised concerns about the potential impact on air quality and wildlife. However, the shrinking Salton Sea also has implications for seismic risk. As the lake level drops, it removes weight from the Earth's crust, potentially increasing stress on the San Andreas and nearby faults. This raises a complex dilemma. Efforts to replenish the Salton Sea for environmental reasons could inadvertently increase the risk of earthquakes. Nature's Complex Web Untangling the Threads of Seismic Risk In this chapter, we delve into the intricate and often surprising connections that exist within our planet's dynamic systems. The relationship between dried-up lakes and earthquakes is just one example of the complex interplay of forces that shape our planet. These forces are constantly at work, often in ways that are not immediately visible to the naked eye. While the shifting tectonic plates are the primary drivers of earthquakes, other factors can influence their timing and magnitude. The Earth's crust is a dynamic and ever-changing environment, where even small changes can have significant impacts. Changes in groundwater levels, volcanic activity, and even human activities like fracking can all play a role. These activities can alter the stress distribution along fault lines, potentially triggering seismic events. Understanding these complex interactions is crucial for assessing seismic risk and developing effective mitigation strategies. Scientists use a variety of tools and techniques to study these phenomena, from seismic data analysis to advanced computer simulations. While we can't prevent earthquakes, we can work to minimize their impact. This involves not only engineering solutions but also community preparedness and resilience. Building codes, early warning systems, and public awareness campaigns are all essential tools in this effort. These measures can save lives and reduce the economic impact of earthquakes. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of our planet's inner workings, we gain a deeper appreciation for the powerful forces that shape our world, both literally and figuratively. Each discovery brings us one step closer to understanding the delicate balance that sustains life on Earth.